Seattle is known to many as the Emerald City because of its famous lush evergreen forests. There is no shortage of things to do and places to see in this metropolis, from the thriving culinary scene to the iconic Space Needle. Famously known as the home to the first Starbucks, Seattle is sure to be a hit with coffee aficionados. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 best things to do in Seattle. And just wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So now let's cut to the chase. First up at 10, Woodland Park. Seattle has countless beautiful parks to offer and Woodland Park can easily make the top five. Woodland is a zoological garden that is dedicated to the conservation of wildlife. Although many can say other parks such as Discovery Park, Volunteer Park or Kerry Park are better, Woodland Park is the only one with a zoo. The zoo and park combination works perfectly for families. Those wanting to explore nature further can head up towards Green Lake. Situated among a dense urban environment, many locals flock to the lake during spring and summer months. At 9, Lake Union. Lake Union attracts people from around the city who need a quick escape. Seattle in summer is a sight for sore eyes, which is made all the better by the giant lake in the middle of the city. This freshwater lake can be explored by hiring an electric boat or kayak, if you're more adventurous. While soaking up the rays, admire Seattle's skyline. If you want to go the extra mile, you can even book a seaplane tour with Kenmore Air, which takes you around the city and offers stunning views of Seattle's scenery, though this is a lot more expensive. At 8, Ballard. Ballard is probably one of the most interesting parts of Seattle. Norwegians chose to settle in this charming area because of its salmon fishing opportunities and the Nordic influence in the area can still be strongly felt today. As you walk down the historic Ballard Avenue, there's a stream of boutiques, cafes and boites. Ballard Coffee Works craft espresso blends are worth a stop. To experience what initially attracted the Nordics years ago, head over to the Ballard Locks. During salmon season, you can watch salmon jumping out of the water when you walk along the canal. If you walk down towards the ladders, you may even be able to see some salmon battling the current. Nearby, Golden Gardens Park offers a stunning sunset from its waterfront. Next up at 7, Chiuli Garden and Glass. On one of Seattle's rainy days, the Chiuli Garden and Glass are a source of colour and happiness. A fascinating exhibition of local glass sculptor Dave Chiuli, the gardens showcase his best work. Like something out of Alice in Wonderland, the gardens are filled with vibrant and striking colours at every turn. A mixture of indoor and outdoor exhibits, each display is unique and memorable in its own way. The gift shop should not be missed either. Next up at 6, Fremont Troll. The Fremont Troll is an icon of Seattle that's linked to Norway. The sculptor lies under the George Washington Memorial Bridge and finds its roots in the Norwegian folklore that depicts a troll living under a bridge. The sculpture is a unique spot in the city as it's located in an unusual spot just off the freeway. The troll lives in the self-proclaimed center of the universe, Fremont. This quirky, countercultural area houses some of the best coffee shops in Seattle. Fremont Coffee Company and Milstead & Co are favorites. The Sunday Farmers Market stretches to Ballard and is a very pleasant way to spend your afternoon. At 5, Museum of Pop Culture. The Museum of Pop Culture, or known as Mopop, is a museum experience quite different to most others. It looks at the different times when risk-taking among society has resulted in new trends and pop culture as we know it today. The museum is very much interactive and depends on its visitors to engage with the exhibits and collections. Starting from the rock and roll movement, it looks at pivotal pop culture icons such as Jimi Hendrix, a Seattle native, the Marvel Universe and game revolutions. It's definitely a place that makes you think of what drives our world today. At 4, Olympic Sculpture Park. 
truly a must-do in the Emerald City, the Seattle Art Museum's Olympic Sculpture Park holds impressive artworks by contemporary A-list artists such as Alexander Calder and Louise Bourgeois. The sculptures stand adjacent to the Puget Sound with the Space Needle and the Olympic Mountains as a backdrop. A special nod goes to Juan Pienza's mesmerizing Echo, which is a 46-foot high head that gazes towards the Olympic Mountains. No matter the weather, the park should be visited, especially since it's free. Next up, at 3, Pike Place Market. A large historic shopping complex, Pike Place Market boasts delicious seafood. The scurry of people should wake you up, although it could be worth picking up a coffee at the world's first Starbucks. Get there early as it's very popular and there's usually a long queue. Throughout the market you'll find seafood galore, with stalls dedicated to the freshest clams, fish, especially salmon and crab. Stalls selling arts and crafts usually open up around mid-morning, which is also worth seeing. If you're not up for a little seafood in the morning, grab a pastry at one of the bakeries. Le Panier has great almond croissants. Yes, please. At 2, Seattle Waterfront. The Seattle Waterfront is a tourist hotspot and fairly expensive, but its views across Elliott Bay to the Olympic Mountains make visiting a must. There are plenty of souvenir shops here, which are perfect for finding something for the home or as gifts. The walk from Pike Place Market towards the Olympic Sculpture Park takes you past Seattle's Great Wheel, which has nice views of the city, depending on the weather. If your interest lies in exploring more of Elliott Bay, there is a harbour cruise from Pier 55 that offers a ride along the bay, with a guide adding details about the maritime history of Seattle. And finally, at number one, Space Needle. Space Needle is one of the major modern landmarks of the Pacific Northwest. It's safe to say that when you think of Seattle, you probably picture this towering site. Having been recently gussied up, the Needle is now even more architecturally impressive, with visitors able to experience 360-degree views and look 520 feet downwards through glass panels. You can even sit on top of Seattle on a bench and take a picture. The gorgeous city vistas are as spectacular at night as they are in the day. Be sure to check for any festivals or free film showings going on below the needle. And there you have the 10 best things to do in Seattle. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.